From the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. And now, here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Great Day Houston. So a lot of you are enjoying beach activities this summer. For some, it's just a dip in the water or catching some rays. For others, it's an adventurous brush with nature. Take a look at this. Jerry Loman and another tourist watch from a shark cage, a much safer approach. Or so they thought. The great white rams through the bars and drives the men to the cage floor. Each thrash of its head brings its razor sharp teeth closer. Now that's a fish story. I came this close to a great white shark and lived to tell about it. Well, we know something that could be much more frightening than that. Here it is. Wearing a bathing suit in public. Yes, wearing a bathing suit in public. Our first guest is a matchmaker. She doesn't set up people on dates. Instead, she pairs people with the right clothes. Here to show us how to choose the right bathing suit for your body type, please welcome the author of Dress Yourself Skinny, image consultant, Sarah Shaw. The title of your book is perfect, Dress Yourself Skinny, because a lot of times when we dress, we try to hide flaws, it just makes it worse. Yeah, a lot of times we're just trying to camouflage and we end up putting extra things on top of ourselves yeah. and we end up making ourselves look sometimes even 30 pounds heavier. Yeah, like wearing the moo moo instead of hugging your curves. Go ahead and hug your curves and you'll look even smaller. Yes, and you just gotta know which curves to hug and which ones to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> As an image consultant, I gotta ask you how you felt when you saw uh, Miss USA and people on Twitter were going, oh my gosh, a normal size body. She's a size four and five eight. Right, so for the pageant world, that is considered a normal size body from our perspective, yeah. but that's not average. Average is a size 14. So it just, it starts which is a the plus conversation, size. which is a plus size, yeah. So it starts the conversation of how do we flatter our figures? You know, if Miss America is uh, self-conscious, how yeah. about the rest of us? Yeah, yeah, you're right. And if size four is the average woman, no wonder a lot of us have a hard time getting into a bathing suit, but you're gonna fix that today. Yes. So let's start with some of our typical body types, because that's what kind of determines what bathing suit would look good on you. So, starting with the hourglass figure, which a lot of us strive for. Yes, this is the ideal figure for a woman. This is what we're all trying to get. And um, our first model, Sarah, actually has an hourglass figure. So the trick here is to just not mess it up. So um, you absolutely want to emphasize the waist. With an hourglass figure, the bust line and the hip line uh -huh. are about the same width and then the waist is about three quarters of that. Yeah. So you always want to have the waist visible and have the whole suit be the same color. That way your proportions stay yeah, and the same. Yeah, and even looking at her top, how she has that kind of V that drips, d drops, d drops down there, which kind of adds to and, and helps proportion, keep the body in proportion. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, as opposed to squaring it off with a straight across line. Yes, because that would make her top look wider. Uh -huh. Absolutely, and then it would be out of proportion with her hips. All right. So the other thing that you want to look for, no matter what your figure is, is wide straps mm -hmm. and also straps that lay flat. So if you look at this bathing suit, you can see that there's nothing digging in. Right. So anytime something digs in, it's going to look lumpy, and lumpy yeah. just <laughs> looks fat. When you dig in, it makes other things <laughs> pop out. Exactly. Yeah, right, right. So you just want everything to be super smooth, and that will always make you look even more toned. Yeah, and I love like her bikini bottom, or the, the bottom to that, because it's not too high up, and it covers everything, but it's a comfortable length right there. Exactly. All right. Super Thank you funny. very much. Go take, take a dip in the ocean. <laughs> Up next, broad shoulders. So you yes. want to kind of even out that body. Right. So this is Ida. And broad shoulders means that her hips are much narrower than her shoulders mm -hmm. are. So the key here is to fill out her hourglass. She's got the hourglass on top and in the waist, but we've got to give her curves in the in um, the hip area. Uh -huh. So we put her in this A-line dress. You could also do this with a swim skirt. Swim skirts are super popular uh -huh. right now. So they create that line, that A-line that exactly. you talked about. So now she's got a curvy body instead of a triangular body. Yeah, and I like the little cover-up right there too, because you know there's different styles of cover-ups. A lot of us still don't feel comfortable sitting around the pool all hanging out, but you can have different styles of cover-ups that make you feel more comfortable, but you're not all covered up. This is an asymmetrical pattern. All patterns are not the same. There are lots of geometric patterns out there, and the problem with those is when they cover up a flaw, they're gonna stretch out. Uh. And so you're always gonna be able to see the area that's stretched out of whack. Yeah. 
and an asymmetrical pattern, um, if it's stretched in one area, it will always camouflage a flaw. All right, let's take a look at our next model who has fuller hips. Right. So this is Eleanor, and Eleanor has the exact opposite body type. She's got full hips. So the key here is to distract the eye with some kind of detail at the top of the suit. Okay. So this has this beautiful jeweled clasp and that brings your eye up and away from the hips. The other thing is it's got um, really nice high cut hips, leg openings, um, and this is just very slimming. So the worst um, bathing suit for this body type is gonna be boy shorts, uh, or those retro style bathing suits that you're seeing now with- um, Where they come high-waisted. High-waisted and, yeah. and straight across the thigh. Yeah. So this just wraps the thigh like a sausage. Okay. And that <laughs> is the opposite of what we're going for. Right, right. And here she's got a cover-up on that's actually a dress. So oh. you can look in your closet for things that aren't the usual beach cover-up. Something from a couple seasons ago that might be a little worn or might have a little stain on it. And um, you won't mind getting it wet or getting a little suntan oil on it. And it just makes your suit a little bit more glamorous. Yeah, yeah very cute. Thank you very much. Now, where a lot of women will struggle is when they're pregnant and they still want to go to the beach and not look like a beached whale, right? Yes, <laughs> they still exactly. want to go to the beach. Right? So this is Cassie, and her body type is the baby bump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. She has her baby bump, and she's wearing it proudly. Right? So the great thing about this suit is it's got a really deep V. And that's going to always be more slimming, no matter what your body type is. Uh -huh. And this ruffle is going to add a little bit more volume to her bust line. So even if you have a flat chest and aren't pregnant, this is a great neckline for right. you. It kind of it makes it, it evens out the body a little bit more. Exactly. So the thing that we really saw when we were looking for maternity suits is um, that that cost makes a difference because mm -hmm. with a little bit more money, you get a way better suit more quality, a thicker fabric, and maternity suits will give you more coverage, uh -huh. so nothing's gonna ride up. Oh, and I, it's might gonna... to, I might wanna get one of those anyway. Well, you know what they said? We went to um, Destination Maternity for uh -huh. this suit, and they said that they do get a lot of shoppers who aren't pregnant because they just have a little bit more room in the tummy. Oh, I like that. All right, thank you very much. And I wanna end with, you have a workshop that's coming up, Sarah. I do have a workshop. It's called Runway for the Rest of Us. So I've discovered that there are a lot of people out there who always wanted to have the model experience, but thought they were too short or small yeah. or big. Or they or may be asked to model in various things. Lots of women's clubs have fashion shows. There are events when people are being honored and you have to walk the runway. You want to know how to do it. Exactly. So it's six, it's, um, six weeks of classes and it ends with a fashion show so we're going to teach you how to walk and pose like a pro and then give you a fashion show to walk in at the end all right so for more of sarah's tips on finding the perfect swimsuit for your body head over to greatdayhouston.com